More and more, families are feeling weighed down by the chaos and clutter in their homes. What if there was a way to make your spaces happier? I'm Brianna Bosch, and we've spent years downsizing, simplifying, and realigning our lives to be more in tune with nature. We sold everything, bought a farm, and learned step-by-step step how to restore peace at home. Now I'm helping others do the same. Welcome to Lord Street! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's make space as well again. Welcome to Holistic Home. Bringing natural light into our space is such a mood booster. Even just by having a little bit more light, a little bit more sun in our room, it makes us feel happier, more awake, and more alert. Many of us have a basement space. Maybe it's a space that gets a little bit forgotten because we don't use it very much. Maybe we don't go down there very much because it feels dark and maybe a little bit like a cave. So we wanted to really incorporate a lot of bright light to make this space feel more like a usable space. Adam and Coral are our neighbors here at the farm. And it, from the day that we moved in, Adam and Coral were so welcoming. I think it was the second day that we had moved to the farm. We were feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all of the space that we had just inherited. And they came over, they brought us a bouquet of flowers, and they welcomed us, and right away we felt at home. Anytime we need anything here at the farm, we call Coral and Adam. Um, they bring us dinner, we bring them dinner, we drop off cocktails over there. It really feels like having our best friends living next door, and so we're so excited that we can give them the space. So I know Brianna. Um, they moved in about two, maybe three years ago almost. And I was being a nosy creeper, staring out the, the door. It's fun to see it like in the spring, see the flowers and then everybody comes shopping for flowers. So, and then she always like door dashes me flowers. Or fun drinks. <laughs> yeah, she's wonderful. The last time we were here, it was definitely cold and we were hanging out, for sure we were hanging out in the basement. Yes. Because this is kind of what has brought me over here, you guys know. Kind of the space that we all hang out in, especially when it's cold, when it's nice. Obviously we're always outside, but now that it's been cold, we've been hanging out in the basement. I really thought it would be great to give us all kind of an adult hangout space, to give you guys your own space, and to really kind of just revamp your basement a little bit. Yay! Does this sound like a plan? Amazing. Sounds good. All right, well, let's go take a look and figure out what we're gonna do. Sounds good. When we found out that we were getting a room redone, uh, so Bree texted me and I was like, no, are you kidding? We're not getting a room redone. She's like, yes, you are, pick a room. And I was like, oh, the basement. That's the ugliest room we <laughs> the ugliest room in our house. So I was, yeah, so excited. I didn't believe we Yeah, we were, we yeah. were really excited. <laughs> we haven't done much with that room down there and, and it can yeah. use a lot of help, so <laughs> perfect timing. All right, into the party room. Into the basement. Into the basement. Ah. Here it is. I mean, okay, I've been here before, obviously, but you know, the basement I think is a space that can kind of get to feeling a little bit cave-like. And I think that's happened a little bit in this space just because of basements. Like basements are always a little bit dark. They yes. just tend to be that place where we kind of stick stuff that we've forgotten about. Yep. You know, this corner looks different. Did we change something over here? Yeah, yes. so we moved a bookcase that used to be here. It was like a built-in kind of deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there was a bookcase. What, made it look a lot bigger. It was it was oh. painted. It was old. It, you know. Did you have stuff work. on it? Was it like really uh, important for storage or not? No, it was pretty sparse. It was <laughs> a few books here and there. And At one point, it was like a wine rack, and then it was a book rack. This piece is so incredible. I mean, for a basement to have a fireplace this big, I think is incredible. Cool. They have this really great 
fireplace in their space, which is kind of unique for a basement. And we really wanted to play up that fireplace as a gathering space. Right now, it's kind of in an awkward angle. It's pushed off to the side. So we're going to try to lay out the furniture so that that fireplace becomes a nice place to sit around and to congregate. And then there's gonna be a little separate area where we can sit and do the card games and play family games on family game night. So the basement just isn't really that usable for us right now. We would like to be able to use the fireplace and just hang out down there, but um, we don't just because it's not that inviting. It's just not finished enough to really have people over and, and just congregate down there. So it's kind of the eyesore of our basement. I, I think the fireplace is going to become actually your favorite feature is what I want to turn it into kind of the focal point, we want to bring attention to it, but in a good way. So we're going to just give it a little bit of a facelift, update it a little bit, um, paint it, you know, just kind of just spruce it up a little bit. And then I think you're going to be really happy with having this kind of fireplace in the, yeah, yeah, in a basement because it's so nice when it's cold. And that's yeah. when you guys are usually down here, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and we use the one upstairs all the time. We just don't use this one. So. Right. And there's not like, you know, it's a little awkward in a space that's long. And because it's, it's weird when this yeah. is not in the center, it's kind of down on one side. Mm -hmm. But I think we can use that to kind of frame this as the seating area around the fireplace. And then maybe have that side where it's like, here's where we sit and play card games or you know, whatever kind of games that you're doing or have family night yeah. um, around yeah. that table. That sounds amazing. Would you guys mind if we maybe do a little switch up on the tile situation? Yeah, we don't love the tile. Okay, you don't yeah, love the yeah, tile, yeah, okay. Do away with it. Yeah. Okay, perfect, all right. Okay, so the other thing with basements that can happen is that they get, like we said, a little bit dark. Maybe they feel a little cave-like. And I think the lighting situation is actually fairly bright in here because of these fluorescents. Do you like the lighting or how do you feel about it? I like the lighting, but I don't like the light fixtures. Yeah, so you still want that. Long and old. And... Yeah, so we, we like the light. Obviously, it's nice to have a nice bright space, but the fixtures are bad. They don't match. Yeah, they don't go falling with, down. Yeah, so. and they don't go with the rest of your house. You know, you've done a lot of updates actually. You're upstairs, yeah. you just redid your kitchen, you yeah. did your cabinets, and so now this now the basement feels like it's been left behind a little bit. It, 100%. It has, yeah. Adam and Coral's basement has a couple windows, but they're smaller, and so what we wanted to do was bring in some lower mood lighting. So instead of relying entirely on nature, one of the tricks that we can do is to bring in lamps, to bring in lighting in other ways so that it feels more like a mood and that all the light isn't coming from these bright fluorescent lights. Painting, so, you know, one of the things that I like to do, especially in a basement space, is to kind of de-emphasize, because it's a smaller space, is to de-emphasize like all of this trim work to maybe help it blend in a little bit with the wall. So we're thinking we might put some paint on these doors and this trim. And the trim doesn't match on either. The trim doesn't match, that's true. Yeah, because this is a space that's kind of happened over time, which right. happens a lot with basements. It's like we do one thing and then we do another thing and so it doesn't match. So I think yeah. if we can bring that together and make it feel cohesive, then the trim is gonna, getting the trim painted will really go a long way toward that. You guys have talked about this bar and I know we have been down here. I love the, I love some things about the bar. I like the popcorn machine. I, I always feel like I can come over here and like grab a snack or grab a little piece of candy off your bar. <laughs> but I feel like it's kind of big for the space. How do you feel about the bar? Yeah, it's definitely long. It, it is kind of big and obviously it's not built in. So we've actually kind of moved it from here to that corner I to try kind of and see corner. where it fits best. Yeah. And, and it's here right now, but it doesn't have to and be. it's kind of next to the bathroom. Yeah. Do you think so, you, yeah, <laughs> right. Do you ever, Adam, are you ever really standing behind there and being like mixing up drinks and handing them to people? Not no. very often, okay. no. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like the extra yeah. dishes go back there. All the extra dishes, the yeah. Pot goes it's like back a, there. Well, and you put stuff on top of it, you know, which yeah. is great for like having a party, being able to have right. somewhere to put And there's drinks. no stools. We don't even have stools There's there, no so, stools, yeah. right. So, um, and I feel like you guys kind of like 
because you move it around so much, you're always trying to figure out where, where it fits. Where should it go? Yeah. yeah. So maybe we can think about how do we come up with some kind of furniture piece that maybe can serve a similar purpose, but be tucked back away a little bit more. Maybe something that doesn't take up as much of, of like the usable mm -hmm. space in your basement. That sounds awesome. As neighbors, we spend a lot of time in Coral and Adam's basement. Um, it's been kind of our adult hangout space when all of our kids go to bed. It's somewhere where we can congregate, we can play card games, we can hang out and just chat. And so I wanted to give them a space that felt a little bit more conducive to Adam and Coral hanging out. Right now it feels a little bit more like a kid's space, there's lots of toys down there, and we wanted to really make it feel like a hangout and a really cool hideout for the adults. At the flower farm, we have to be really careful about spacing and clutter. So one of the things I tend to want to do is to plant all of the things in the field in any given year because there are so many different flower varieties that I want to grow. If I try to grow everything, I end up putting way too many plants in the field and then they all fail to thrive. We have to make sure we're giving everything the space that it needs in order to develop strong roots and healthy roots and to grow well and thrive. So we're making sure that we're minimizing clutter in our field. We want to make sure we're minimizing any of that clutter in Adam and Coral's basement so that they can really feel like they can enjoy their space. One of the things that we do is we actually burn holes into landscape fabric. This helps us keep from having to use anything like herbicides or things that might damage our soil because the landscape fabric actually helps keep the weeds suppressed. So we have to burn holes at the right spacing for each plant into the fabric. So what we do is we just use this simple propane torch and we burn holes at the appropriate spacing using this plywood template. It makes it really easy when it comes to spacing our flowers at just the right distance. Here at the farm, spacing our plants appropriately is really important to give them the space that they need to grow. If we put our plants too close together, they start to suffocate each other and they eventually will choke themselves out and they'll end up dying because they don't have enough room to thrive. The same thing is true at home. We tend to accumulate this clutter and it sometimes it feels like that clutter is suffocating us. It can be so hard to come home and see a pile of things you know you need to put away Maybe they're things you don't even enjoy anymore. So it's important every once in a while to go through those things that are sitting around, cluttering up, maybe things that you're just accumulating but you don't actually care about anymore, and just donate those things or give them to someone who needs them because it's going to help you feel like you're able to thrive in your space, spread out, and enjoy your home. So in Adam and Coral space, we're going to be using the Color Reader Easy by Data Color. And we're using that in this space because there's a lot of painting that needs to be done. They have these doors that are kind of this wood tone. They have a couple different trim colors. And they also want to do something fun with the fireplace. So we're gonna give a pop of color there. So the Color Reader Easy is going to be really key in this space because we wanna make sure we really nail the paint color. Because we're going to be painting all of the wood trim in Coral and Adam's basement white, I wanted to make sure that it didn't feel like it was just a big white expanse. So we decided to bring in some color on the wall and warm up the wall color just a little bit to contrast with that white trim. To do that, I really wanted to pull some inspiration from the barn because the barn has been a space that has inspired me so much. I thought it would be great if we could pull in some of the colors from this barnwood table. We actually built this out of the dividers that existed in the barn before we lived here. So it really has this nice patina to it. It's a little bit white, gray, it has some green tones to it. So we're going to pull a few different colors from this table. We're going to be using the Data Color Color Reader Easy to do this. I love using this app for this project because we're going to be able to pull exactly the right color that we want from the table. And it's going to let us kind of get a really good range of different white, different gray, different green, and pick the one that's going to be perfect for Adam and Coral's walls. Using the Color Reader Easy is so simple. I love using it because it lets me pull exactly the color that I want. 
And if the color reader doesn't pick up exactly the color, especially on this table, because there's so many different tones happening here, I can just move it a little bit until I get the exact right color that I'm looking for. So we're gonna see if we can get a good tone for Adam and Coral's basement. So if I move it just a little bit, it's going to match exactly to the color that's underneath the color reader. I think this color is going to be perfect for Adam and Coral. It's kind of a warmish gray, so it's not going to feel so stark against the white trim as the white paint is that they have now. So we're gonna go with this color, but I wanna see if there's any good coordinating colors to go with this nice light gray. So I'm going to use the app, and I'm going to go in and select coordinating colors. That's gonna give me a great option for that fireplace, which we really want to make pop. So this has given me a nice dark charcoal, so I think that's gonna be the perfect option to make that fireplace pop against this nice light gray wall. Adam and Coral are really outdoorsy people. Adam and my husband Dave love to go fly fishing. They like to spend time together outside. In the summertime, we're always outside, either at here at the farm or over at their place. And so we really wanted to bring some of this nature and this outside into their space. The way we're doing that is through a couple of really neat Phillips collection pieces. So one of these is this coffee table, and I think they're gonna love this piece. It has just this feel of this organic nature to it. And the other one that we're bringing in is this console. So because Adam and Coral host a lot of activities in their basement, we have a lot of get-togethers down there, we wanted to give them a surface where they can put their popcorn machine, they can put their drinks, and we can all kind of congregate around and still have it look nice and be tucked away, but still be a big attention getter. My sweet husband Dave is always my tech guy. When it comes to getting our irrigation hooked up in the field or doing anything that requires measuring, Dave is always my go-to. So I'm so happy he was able to come and help us get these lights installed in the basement because they're gonna make such a big difference. We're also really excited for the fireplace transformation. I think that charcoal is really gonna pop and the new tiles that we're putting on the floor are gonna make that fireplace look really modern. If you feel like maybe you've been feeling a little bit down or a little bit tired, it's possible that you're just not getting enough sunlight, and that can lead to vitamin D deficiency. A really easy way to get a little bit more light during the day is simply to open your blinds a little bit more, and you can actually even just decide to get rid of your blinds altogether. Some other great ways to do this are to add some mirrors to your space, and also just to brighten up the paint color in your room. So going to a lighter color that's going to bounce and reflect light is going to help you feel lighter and brighter during the day. In Adam and Coral's basement space, we really wanted to make sure we minimize the clutter. We gave everything plenty of space and plenty of light. And it's the same thing that we do here at the farm. We wanna make sure all of our plants get enough light, they get enough space to thrive, these are things that are important for plants, they're important for us, and they're important for us to incorporate into our living space. What are you the most excited to use the basement for? Uh, gosh, just to show it off. I mean, we can have, just have people over and... Get-togethers. Actually use the space. Hang you know? out down yeah. there, have some drinks, yeah. right? Yeah, so we're not just storing things down there. It's not yeah. just a storage space anymore. Yeah. It's a usable extension of your house. I think I am so excited to come over here and have drinks with you guys and play some games. <laughs> so we're just going to see it. I can't wait. All right. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this doesn't even look like our house anymore. Wow. And there's an old door. Is that our old door? Yes. I don't even know what to say. Walking into the space, Adam and Coral, I could tell they almost didn't even recognize it. Um, and Adam is kind of a person who doesn't really wear his emotions on his sleeve, so I love seeing how excited he was about the space. I'm so happy this piece. Oh, I mean, can you just, it, it, to me, it says like you guys with this, you know, we both are so lucky to live in these 
beautiful big lots with all of this wood and nature around us and just this piece to me like embodies you guys. I'm like you're outside nature, you're fly fishing, you know, being outside. It's I like, would never think to bring that inside. It's beautiful. So I love the Philips collection, the console. It's like bringing the outdoors in. Uh, it just matches so good. I, I think that's so. one of the first things people are gonna see when they walk down there. They're gonna be drawn right to that. They've done a char on the outside, so it kind of ties in with the fireplace. I know there's so much to look at, so I don't know if you guys have even seen the fireplace, but oh, like the oh, tile wow. the fireplace. Yes. different it looks. Oh my goodness, girlfriend. From before. Oh my goodness. Adam and Coral love the new fireplace. It's such a dramatic change for them. It's totally outside of what they traditionally would have done. And I think just having someone come in and do it was a really nice way to kind of push them out of their comfort zone, but still give them something that they would be able to use and enjoy. I think we'll spend a lot more time down there now. Um, you know, we're gonna have Dave and Bree over more. They'll probably wanna come over now, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna bring to the bar. The kids can play. The, yeah, no stress. Yeah, just we can enjoy. just enjoy it without thinking about what we have to do to fix it now. I don't have to bother them anymore about the basement. It's great. We talked about the paint color and how it's kind of warmed up. So it was white before. So it's kind of, it's warmed up the space. Yep. So this color, we actually read this color directly from the barn table in our barn. Oh, wow. So it's the wood, the wood table. The wood table. So it's connecting, it kind of has that like whitewashed table. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of connects our, our property with you guys' property. I mean, I think it's just so special that we have you guys as neighbors and you guys know how much we just adore you. We can and never move. And love you, we will never move, don't worry. <laughs> So how did you pick this dark color? This dark color, so actually the color reader pulled up the contrast color for this. So when oh, you pull up a color, so it'll it automatically oh, okay. pull up a contrast color. So it pulled up this color, and this color is actually called soot, which is cool. So, and it's by the fireplace. fireplace. <laughs> because it's in the fireplace, yeah. and it ties in the, this beautiful, which this is a really beautiful insert that you put in here. I love this. And it ties it together, so now this all looks like one piece instead of before it was disjointed. I think the paint makes it like it's not a basement. It makes it like it's, it's open, it's airy, it's welcoming. Um, it's amazing how just painting a few walls changes the whole the whole basement. Yeah, it was so it was just so plain before with white. Now we've got the colors and just the creativity that that it makes it a much better space now. The lights! Yes. I know! <laughs> Ugly, broken, square ones. The fluorescent lights. The spider light. webs, and now there's... there's yeah, just, it looks, yeah, it looks brighter. Yeah. It looks way brighter down here. In the it, mirror? The mirror. It reflects. So what's nice about a mirror, especially in a basement, is because we only have windows on this side, so the mirror kind of serves as a, a reflection of that light, and it's bouncing it back into the room. We came over today, and... We were like, we need something for I this have wall never. that feels like you guys. And we just couldn't find the right Lovely. thing. Okay. Yeah. And then I saw this door and I was like, this is so cool. Let's put it on the wall. It. It's probably original to the house, actually. So, you know, it's it's been up there on the side, not used as a side door in the house. Like you couldn't open it. Probably since the 60s or who knows. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly, and it. I like that it has character to it. And this is why I like to pull in stuff that's been reclaimed, stuff that you can reuse because A, we're putting less pressure on the environment buying new stuff, and B, it's part of your history and your house sure. history and your family's history. Adam, this is your parents' house. I mean, you grew up here. Right. It looks, it does look like a piece of art on the wall. And you know, if you wanted to, you could bring pictures of your family and put some pictures of your family yeah. into that space Yeah, that's as kind well. of a nice frame for it. It's a, like a, a picture, picture frame. Yeah, yeah, you could do a big collage back there. And I love the table and the game table, you know, for us to kind of sit down. We can pour chairs. ourselves a glass of whiskey and just, oh. you know, sit around the table. So again, the, we could be over here. I say we, look at me inviting myself oh. over to us. <laughs> like, we'll be here tonight. Oh. But you know, someone could be sitting here playing a card game. Yeah. Someone could be sitting over there. You could have a whole party down here and and it feels so warm and cozy. It's like a hotel, I feel like. Couldn't like a, not my house. My house is like fancy basement. Like I want to invite 
people over. Yeah. I yes, can't wait you. to enjoy it with you guys. You're amazing. <laughs> Come on over tonight. I know. Let's have a party. We're going to play there. <laughs>